All right, folks, Benjamin here. I want to show you a couple things about uh, about uh, using a digital scanner. And if you live in a heavily populated area where there's lots and lots of cell phone towers and lots of other radio services and stuff like that, even though you might have one of these formerly $600 things or some other unit in digital trunking scanner, you would think, well, I live in a city. Why do I keep hearing the garbled data or in garbled voices even though it should be clear? Well, there's a couple reasons for that. Uh, first things first, let's explain something here. Scanners here have absolutely zero receiver front-end filtering. What that means is it comes in through the antenna, inside there into the circuitry, and there's actually little filters. Let's just say this is a filter, right? And that's exactly what it is. But small, micro, right? Well, there's none of that in there. No little small things. There's no filtering. So the scanner that does DC to daylight, or in, 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 in this case, this one does 25 megs to... 1.3 gigs or whatever it is it receives everything so there's no possible way for them to have any kind of filtering in that whatsoever so they don't put it in there now that being said it comes with a caveat with lots of excuse me strong power transmitters and adjacent channel stuff which I'll show you here in a second what that is um, you're going to suffer your receivers all receivers suffer from what's called receiver desensitization which means they're desensitized or made deaf from adjacent channel, uh, adjacent channel transmitters. That's just the nature of the beast. That's just kind of how it works. So you have a filter, right? Like a coffee filter or something. Anyway, it's nighttime, so there isn't a whole bunch of activity. But um, for a long time before this even dawned on me that I could use these things, um, even though my signal strength on my scanner was relatively strong, not sure how well you can see it, but you see it's all jittery and stuff. Uh, and that's just how it is. And that's just how it's been. Just for the pure fact that because there is so much cellular around here, my receiver just being desensitized is getting deaf. So the antenna that I use with the scanner normally handheld when I'm not at the house is this antenna here. It's from an old uh, cellular back phone. And the idea behind that is that because it's actually a somewhat tuned circuit, um, for cellular, that's actually gonna not, it's gonna be selective on some things, you know, like the little stub that you get with a scanner that's about this tall. Those things are just pieces of wire, they receive everything, um, some more than others. Anyway, this box right here is called a, it's called a, a service monitor, and anyways, I have it in spectrum analyzer mode. The signal I want to receive is right in this area right here, all right. All this other stuff is 800 megahertz cellular uh, downlinks from the cell phone towers. This, all this mess is what all the cell phones are listening to and all this junk and it keeps going further that way. Um, your receiver, even though you don't hear that, your receiver sees that and it has to fight or contend with that. So anyway, these big old brass aluminum looking things are what's used at cellular sites and also at the trunking the 800 megahertz as well as other ones but in this case these are 800 megs they use these what's called pre-selector filters to filter out all the unwanted stuff and only pass through what what you want so given that this is just this little antenna and we're getting that kind of signal strength let's see what it does so like I said these are old filters uh, these things brand new are about $1200 so, and uh, when you, uh, um, and you can pick them up in various different places, uh, but good luck, because like I said, even used are still $800, because other countries are buying them up, used, when they come off the surplus market. Anyway, so this is what difference you made. You see what it is, and that's all that remains, and that's just the pass. As you see, that's even attenuated. It was up at the 70 dB mark. Now it's heavily attenuated, but this is the... Uh, this is going through what's called the skirt of the filter. So it just attenuates this uh, only slightly, and, and as the filter goes down, or as the, as the filter is, it, it gets farther into the filter's range, it starts blocking out, and you see all this other stuff is gone. Just with that little thing. So, okay, what if you want to use um, an old car cell phone antenna, an 800 megahertz one that looks like this? You're driving around and stuff like that, and your car blocks a lot of the signal, which it's going to. 
So that right there is going to have more receive gain. That one's going to have more receive gain than that thing. So let's plug this thing in direct, right? And I don't know if you heard, it was somewhat garbly and you saw the signal was all kinds of pukey and crappy. So let's plug that in, all right? Now you see the signal is um, on average 10 dB stronger. See all that mess? Yeah, that's, that's horrible. Matter of fact, you may even hear the receiver on this thing start blipping. All right, now let's run this thing through the filter. All right, so you see no tricks, just runs from the antenna, the coax, into the service monitor. Oops. All right, filters it out, gone. And matter of fact, that is even stronger on that signal. So these filters are kind of one and the same. Um, one is just a little more selective than the other one is. But even something like this small little thing, which uh, average retail price is about $800, um, will do the trick. So I'll, I'll show you here. Now, when you get these things, they come with two of these connectors. These are called BNC, these are called uh, N connectors, N male connectors, I'm sorry. N female connectors, I'm tired. Um, some will say antenna and, and, and a receiver, others won't, but it really doesn't matter. Um, just kind of a matter of semantics, really. But, you know, just for that matter, we'll plug this, this uh, little adapter here. Let's say um, N to B and C adapter. Plug the antenna into that. And then we'll plug this little filter, and you'll see that it does the same thing. Matter of fact, this one appears to be, I must have tuned this one a little better. So normally when these things right here, um, unless you have one of these devices that has, a, has a, uh, a spectrum analyzer with a tracking generator on it, those little things right here, these are the tuning rods. Um, even a tenth of a millimeter adjustment makes all the difference in the world. You just can't sit there and plug it in and, and hopefully you'll do something because that's just not going to happen. Uh, sorry, guys. Um, if uh, unless you know someone that really knows something about radio or radio shop you can't buy one of these off eBay that's not tuned for the trunking because unless you just happen to come across one it just it just isn't gonna happen okay been there done that look at all this radio crap yeah you know I, I you know I kinda do this anyway so we'll plug this in so all you have to do when you get one of these is just plug in your antenna, whether it's an indoor antenna, outdoor antenna, or in this case, I was just doing this, and this thing was just sitting on my little hutch. And as you see here, the signal just... Yep, I must be monitoring other things. But anyway, no more, no more garbly voices and stuff like that. And unless this, the only time I hear garbly voices now is when dispatch of whoever says they are 10-1 or they are not copyable. Anyways, find yourself some of these TXRX. Yeah. Anyway, these will be significantly worse. So find yourself some of these. Every now and then I sell these on eBay. So, yeah, this is a mild advertisement, kind of. But uh, find them. Buy them for me. Gee, support me. Thanks.